Uh, greetings, Scorpio, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're doing well, and let's jump right in and see what the cards have. Well, I see that there's justice coming. There's balance on the horizon that you need to know about. There's some truth is coming out, and you're seeing it for the first time, and you need to uh, process that. It could be some interaction with the legal system, a lawyer, but where there is a right or wrong, um, um, there is justice that has to be thought through, not with emotion and feelings, but with facts and uh, the figures and what is accurate. And it's about the Four of Cups, about some a situation and a romance or love or what you care about. You're having some disappointment in it and feeling uh, apathy, boredom, um, about uh, what is true, um, a board closed off from receiving uh, connections with balance, with truth, with thinking through things. Um, that you're, but you're having to meditate maybe now on justice, uh, reflect on what is right and wrong now. And uh, you're planning something. You're at the foundation, maybe out of your field of um, awareness. Something is being planted. You have this idea and you're working on it. Uh, you want to uh, take it out there somewhere. And it has to do with the King of Wands, something you're very passionate about. And you're very charismatic and you're very attractive at this time energetically and that was in the recent past and you took leadership toward a, something that you were planning and you wanted to find balance and justice in terms of, of feeling closed off, unconnected socially, uh, to uh, dedicate yourself to something at the crown. Whatever you're planning, you've been dedicating yourself to this craft, to something you're working on and you want to bring a truth and justice to that. Um, maybe your skill you're honing um, with this plan, you want to dedicate yourself to whatever it is you're taking out there, an entrepreneurial idea that you're going to take leadership and be dedicated toward because uh, you're closing out an old cycle. All the chakras are lining up and you are uh, seeing, well, this is just, this is right, this is true, this is accurate. Um, and it's, um, you're going to be uh, closing it out, <clears throat> but maybe with some boredom or apathy because uh, you're still wanting to work on this project of justice, of balance, of uh, what you're seeing about um, the truth of something that you're planning and you're closing it out with success or with a certain recognition because you've got both the dedication and the works you have been recognized for what it is you're working on and you took leadership toward and you planned for this because uh, the environment or the people around you have uh, some sense of fear about the truth uh, a nightmare it's keeping you awake someone in your environment the influence of your environment is maybe some a uh, fear coming in some paranoia Whatever it is you're working on in collaboration, uh, people are sharing um, that it's fearful. Uh, the environment or someone definitely that you're in this relationship to around uh, justice, uh, this truth is uh, keeping you up, making you feel paranoid. You're very anxious and worrying over and over about uh, someone is worrying in your environment, is very worried. and. <clears throat> your hope and fear that this will move on quickly. Whatever you're having these anxiety attacks and uh, nightmares about, because you closed it out recently. And so you're starting over a new phase, but maybe by closing that out, it's bringing up fear uh, from your environment. Uh, that <clears throat> your hope and fear is it'll move forward and that you have the king of swords and take authority over uh, whatever this is that is because the king of swords and justice are connected. The king of swords is the advice, take the emotion out, use your intelligence, um, use the facts, look at things truthfully. And that's what you're being asked to do right now, Scorpio. And wow, well let's get some uh, clarity on uh, the situation. Why is justice here for <coughs> Scorpio? Right now, please let us know. What do we need to know about 
truth, justice, balancing in this situation, of the Knight of Cups, something about a love offer, a something about something about truth about love, a truth about a offering in love, about something that you're uh, loving, truth about something you're loving, getting the truth, getting balance on some feeling that um, some momentum about uh, a love offer. And it's the nine of swords again. Well, this is the sense of you're bored, you're apathetic, you're worried, you're disappointed, you're closed off socially because of um, this knight of swords. You are worried, you're anxious, you're paranoid about something about this love offer. It's making you uh, feel worried, anxious, depressed, um, in a nightmare, like you can't think through this. You can't, uh, this <clears throat> fear of this Knight of Cups, whatever that is for you, this dream, this something that's coming up, this intuition, and you're planning something, and this the Four of a wands, well, there is planning for this celebration at the foundation. That might be something that you are uh, very much involved in out of your field of awareness, of planning. Um, being given this announcement of something to celebrate, a milestone, coming to the end, the finish line, something about renovating your home you're planning, um, redecorating, uh, doing something that you're building on because you've got this three of uh, pentacles here. You're working on something. You're in collaboration. You're planning. And you're taking leadership because of the queen of wands. Wow, well, you've got the king and queen of wands in the past, a, a dynamic couple, a fiery couple, very cocky and charismatic. They go for what they want together. They are entrepreneurs. They're very flashy, confident. Uh, and the magician is here because you've de dedicated yourself to this craft, Scorpio. And you've been working on it. You've been bringing it down to earth and making it real. And that's because of your dedication to whatever this is you want to manifest, this magic, this project uh, that uh, is true and just and balanced. You've got the magician there making magic because you're closing out this old cycle um, and getting new information. You're being curious. Um, you're maybe gossiping about this <clears throat> ending, and this new end, the new beginning coming. But you're <coughs> having to study something, get information. There's a lot of um, energy here about, <coughs> excuse me, Scorpio. <clears throat> it's almost as if <clears throat> they don't want me to speak about <clears throat> what I know. They don't want me to speak the truth. And they don't want me to bring in this reality check about judgment. This has something to do with the, uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> a love offer. You've got the high priestess looking into this work. There's something you're working on in secret. There's something you're working on in collaboration with others that is using a lot of your wisdom, using a lot of that inner knowing, your intuition. <clears throat> you know, Scorpios, you can be very psychic, so you're seeing something about this Knight of Cups, this love offer that has something to do with you're working on truth or justice, and your environment is the Four of Pentacles. Well, there's fear about money in your environment. There's worry and anxiety and nightmares and sleeplessness over um, this money of being possessive of your money. Somebody's maybe trying to possess your money, a Scorpio, and it's making you worry. Somebody in your environment is coming after you for money uh, to get the stability about money or being uh, greedy and stingy, and that's causing you a lot of fear. Um, and what is the movement forward is 
the three of wands where you're moving uh, you got the th two of wands you're planning now you want to put this out there this fiery project you got the king and queen of wands in the recent past and the magician and dedication so Scorpio you're gonna take this out there with a lot of success a quickness fieriness whatever this passion is this new intuition and you're going to use, uh, the advice is to use your higher mind, your intelligence to cut through, to use the authority over this, um, because the advice is to use authority over what is just. The Ten of Pentacles, and that's going to bring you wealth, authority over your money, over your legacy, over what you leave behind over this abundance, over a happy family. You've been planning this, working on it. You might be afraid um, that in your environment or what's coming, you don't have enough. Uh, you're worrying about um, being greedy or stingy. But the movement is there to go for this passion project. You'll be very successful, confident, attractive, and a wealthy, wealthy and have a lot of authority and truth about uh, this legacy is coming in. And there's truth about this wealth, this legacy. And also truth is coming in about uh, the Knight of Cups, about this love offer, about this uh, dream, about something you're very uh, emotionally connected to. And that's what I have for you Scorpio today. And you know I love you and thank you so much for subscribing all of you. Um, and Please uh, give me the thumbs up and leave comments. And see you next time. Bye-bye.